Hello everyone, welcome back to the ride with Lance. And today, we're just gonna cruise. I'm in the cruising mood. Been in the cruising mood for a while. Seems like I've been doing all kinds of other things, except cruising. Which is one of the things I like to do the most. Yeah, I know I say I like to do the off-road too, and But cruising is what really just relaxes me, relaxes the mind, gives me the opportunity to, to just look around me, see what's going on, see the sights, see the people. But there is a reason why I'm talking about cruising today. And I'll tell you why. Because I am going to retire my Rad Rover 6. Yep, I've, I've finally made a decision that I am going to sell it. Now, Katrina's gonna be still keeping hers because she loves hers, and I do, I, I love Rad Rover. But it is just a big bike because I have the high step. That's what makes it a big bike. And I have the cargo rack on back with the basket and the basket on front. So it makes it really high to try and swing your leg over the back when you have a basket on the back. And especially like what Katrina and I like doing is, you know, we have a, a Yeti cooler that we put in the back there that we take, you know, our, our picnic out there. We take drinks and some food and sandwiches in it and it makes it even taller. So, yes, I wish I would have done a little more research in the beginning and got the step through. So I will be retiring the, the Rad Rover. And again, it's not because it's done anything wrong. It's bad. It's, it's in perfect working order. Except for, you know, the usual wear over the years. It's just that it's just too dang tall to keep swinging my foot over the center. It's already made me fall a few times trying to get back off of it and getting my heel caught on the, the top bar and just uh, toppling me over. So I am doing my research and looking for a new cruiser. A new cruiser that I can make my own, just like I did with the Rad. where I got the, the perfect riding position for me, nice and comfortable. Because that's what you really want on a cruiser. You want to be comfortable. And just cruise. So I'm, I'm doing some, I'm some looking around. So if you guys have any ideas of what, I, what you think I should be looking at, either by personal experience or just by what you see in your own research, let me know because I am looking at a few. I'm looking at the Magicycle. Never ridden one, so I just don't know what it's like. And... The Velotrek Nomad One is another now I thought hey dear now I also thought about the the Radster trail the new one but I want to I want to keep to the fat tires 
the four inch fat tires. Now, but you also may be saying to yourself, yeah, what about the, the electric, the X-Peak you're riding? And that's why I'm riding today is the electric X-Peak high step. Now it does make a good cruiser. The only thing is, is I use this bike mainly for trail riding. And when I trail ride, I don't want cargo racks and baskets and fenders and stuff on there. But on a ride like this, I mean, it's okay, but I am looking for the, the bike that when Katrina and I go out, you know, I can put the rack on the back with the cargo basket and carry the cooler so we can have our picnics. We haven't done it lately. I miss that, actually. It's always nice to have Katrina out, ride someplace, have a picnic lunch, relax for a while before we need to ride back. That's what I'm looking for. And I'm also trying to get that kind of like that classic beach cruiser style. You know, like this, it's like with most cruisers these days, or what these companies call cruisers, they are coming with the mountain bike handlebars. You know, very few have a raised handlebar that is kind of swept back that puts you in that classic cruising position. They seem to think that everybody wants to ride in the mountain bike position. But I am looking for that classic, you know, straight up sitting cruiser with some swept back handlebars at a nice height where you can just cruise slow. You don't have to worry about your neck being bent down or you have to, to be constantly looking up, you know, getting a stiff neck later on in the day. Something you can just cruise real slow at and just see the sights. So that's what I'm on the lookout for now. So I'm going to be putting the Rad up for sale and a lot of the other bikes I have. Those are already up, sale, uh, up for sale. I have them up for sale on Craigslist in my local area because they, I can't ship them. They just cost too much to ship. Hey. I'll have to look back and see who that jogger was. He rode by and said, hey, 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 and waved to me. Maybe I should have turned around and... So I tried to turn around and see who it was, but maybe on the way back. Maybe he's running this way and then he'll run back that way by the time I come back. But what was I saying? Yeah, got a lot of, I put a lot of my bikes up for sale. I put the, the, the TK1 trike up for sale. The Yodo Lion. What else? The Ingwe Engine 2.0. I have the the Hochi Cheetah. Not sure what I'm going to do about that one yet, because that bike does have problems. And I don't want to pass off problems to other people, even if I tell them and they know about it, which I would. So, okay. that one may go to a local donation center. And I will let them know about the issues I have with it. It's rideable. But the, I don't know if it's the design of the motor. 
but if you start off with the throttle and you go you know go full throttle you hear the the gears grind a little until you let off and ease it on but I guess you'd make a good just uh, riding bike it wouldn't make a good cruiser because they they put those handlebars so far forward and so far down feels like you're kissing the, the handlebar stem and again it's one of those ones that you know you're way down there then you have to always have your head up and then your head your neck gets sore What are my other ones am I going to sell? Oh yes, I still have the Zebra. The Zebra's up for sale. So, no bites on that yet. I'm giving it a month on Craigslist. And then I'll move on to another list. Maybe uh, um, our neighborhood area. We have a like a neighborhood newsletter. Maybe locals and then Maybe Facebook Marketplace, even though I don't hear too many good things about that one. So what else is happening? I got some an event coming up, actually, that it, I'm really excited about. So I got an email a couple weeks ago from Electric. And they have invited me, along with some other creators, to come out to Arizona to their headquarters. Go ahead. And meet the, basically the executive team of Electric, tour the headquarters, and then do first impression videos of two new bikes that are coming out that they have not announced what kind of bikes they are yet now I did ask them if they could tell me what type of bike it is because I knew they couldn't tell me what it is or show me pictures or anything because you know that's corporate secrets <laughs> But I did ask, you know, what kind of riding will I be doing so I could uh, prepare for that type of riding, you know? You know what to bring with me. And he simply said, not can't tell you what kind of bike it is, but I can tell you it's the type of riding you're doing now, but with moderate off-road. So that got me to thinking, and I'm going to be starting some uh, some theories here. I'm thinking of there's there's two options, and I could be 100% wrong, but only time will tell, right? My first thing that came to mind when they said moderate off road was maybe they were going to introduce their first regular e-mountain bike not a fat tire mountain bike like the x-peak but their version of an emtb how cool would that be that'd be really cool then my next theory was maybe it's the x-peak 2.0 I just I guess I'll have to wait and see it's exciting I mean I could be totally wrong it could be some new four-wheeled contraption <laughs> but anyways there, there's two of them so I'm guessing a high step in a step through 
because I'm not sure if it'd be two separately, totally different types of bikes, you know, like having a, a fat tire cruiser ver and uh, a city bike. I think it's going to be the same category, but high step and, and step through. Maybe it's something that works is improvements on the X-Peak. You know, because I've watched a lot of videos on the X-Peak and I am in included in this, was modifying this bike from its stock version. Higher handlebars, raised up handlebars, wider handlebars. A comfort seat with a suspension seat post on the back. Maybe it's something like that. Improvements like that. Improvements in the frame, especially on the step through. Because I know there's people that would like to put their racks on a step through. But we'll see. We'll just have to see. But is it, it is exciting because they are flying us out there. They're taking care of our hotel. And we get to have a, I guess, a big dinner with all the creators one night and then go out for a day of riding the new bikes, getting the first impressions, just like they did with the XP. So I do, I've heard, I know Gary from Gary's e-bike adventures is going there because he said so on his video. And then I've heard that I can't confirm that fully charged, um, crisscrossed, shoot the chit. That guy's kind of in my area. He's up in the San Francisco, I think, Oakland area. That they might be there, but I haven't heard about anybody else. So if you're watching and you're one who's going, let me know. I'm looking forward to, to meeting all these guys. But that's kind of exciting. I don't know how much further I'm going to be able to go because it is literally 100 plus degrees out here today. That's why I rode this path trying to stay in the shade somewhat. But it, <laughs> it looks like the city has come through here and done a lot of tree pruning. Last time I went through here, all I'd see was leaves and trees and bushy stuff. I couldn't see this path at all. Now I can see through all the trees down, way down there. Guess they're getting ready for fall. But I think we still have a, a full month of warm and hot weather ahead of us. But yeah, a new cruiser is what I'm looking for. So, if you have a cruiser, tell me what it is and tell me how you like it. And if you would recommend it. Because at this point, so I'm gonna turn around right here. At this point, I'm really an open book right now. I don't have any, uh, any, I won't say preference, because I do want a quality bike. I don't want a, <laughs> one of these fly-by-night bikes that you can't even pronounce their name. But uh, a quality bike that I can upgrade to the way I like riding without having to manipulate a lot of things on the bike. So 
So if you have any ideas, I'm all ears. Like I said, I am not leaning one way or the other to any particular bike right now. And again, just because I'm selling the Rad doesn't mean there's something wrong with it. Oh yeah, I think I interrupted myself back there when I said I was, was considering the Radster Trail, but I wanted to stick with the fat tires. And I think the Radster comes with three inch tires, but some people still consider fat tires. But I like the four inch tires. I'd like to even try sometime the four and a half inch tires, you know, like on the Hemiway D7 Pro or the Yodo Lion. And I'll consider mid-drive. I mean, there's been some technological advancements on that. Especially when you're considering the ones with 1,000 watt motors. I that have a 160 newton meters of torque that could be chain poppers if you don't ride them right. So I know the, the Hemiways D7 Pro has a, I guess they call it a shift interrupt. So when you go to shift and you're pedaling, it kills the power for a second on the motor to do the shift so you're not shifting that chain under all that torque which I think is going to make your drivetrain last longer unless you're one of those who just you know wants to ride on throttle only as fast as you can you wear out that one gear <laughs> Which, if you like doing that, that's perfectly fine. You'll just be having a lot more maintenance. But anyways, those are my thoughts. Now, tell me your thoughts. All right, I got the boik, the boik. What's a boik? The bike pointed back towards home gonna go home and jump in the pool because it is hot get some ice cold water something ice cold to drink but anyways I hope it's a lot cooler where you're at so you have a, a great day a great ride a great week and I will see you on the next adventure bye <laughs>